Alright, so now let's have an overview of the big picture to understand the complete roadmap for learning Tableau and how I structured the Tableau course. The first chapter is all about the basics. Before we start using Tableau, it's important to have basic understanding of the data terminology, like big data, data visualizations, business intelligence, and you will learn what is Tableau and why Tableau is a very powerful tool. And next, it's important to understand the Tableau product suite. Since Tableau offers eight unique products, understanding the differences between these products will help you to find out which one is the best for your needs. After that, we're gonna talk about the Tableau architecture. Here you will learn how Tableau internally works and what are the main components of Tableau. This is gonna help you to have a deep knowledge in Tableau components and gonna make you an expert in your project. And once you learned all the theory and the basics, you have to prepare your environment for practicing by downloading and installing free Tableau public and preparing the practice datasets. In the next one, you will learn how to combine data from multiple tables and sources. You will learn four methods, joins, union, relationships, and data blending, and you will understand the differences between them. In the next chapter, you have to understand the Tableau metadata. One of the key concepts in Tableau is understanding the data types and the differences between dimensions and measures, discrete and continuous, and how to use them. And in the next step, you will learn how to organize and customize your data using hierarchies, pins, sets, groups, and parameters. And next, it's really important to learn how to filter your data. Filtering allows you to focus in specific part of your data and and in Tableau, there are many ways on how to filter your data. In the next chapter, we will learn how to sort your data. Sorting allows you to rearrange your data in a way that makes it easier to understand and to analyze. And in the next chapter, we will go in more advanced topics like the Tableau calculations. Tableau calculations are very powerful. They are gonna help you to perform complex data transformations. There are many different types of calculations like number calculations, string, date, logic, and so on. And in the next chapter, we will learn a very important concept in Tableau, the level of detail, LOD expressions, where you're gonna learn how to control the level of aggregations in your calculations. And we have three types, fixed, include, and exclude. And in the next chapter, we will start exploring the different types of visualizations and charts available in Tableau, like the bar chart, line chart, tree maps, area charts, and so on. And after we learned how to build a chart, we have to learn how to make them interactive and to add actions to them. This can allow you to create interactive and engaging visualizations. Then in the next one, we have to add the last touch by formatting your Tableau workbook and worksheets, which will help to highlight the important informations and improve the overall look. And in the next chapter, you will learn how to bring all your work together in a dashboard and stories, where we're gonna learn about size and devices, the layout out and many best practices and in the last chapter we're gonna create a project called the superstore where we're gonna put all the puzzles together in one project and it's the best way to improve your tableau skills where i'm gonna show you the process by going step by step from the requirements until publishing the project all right so that was the complete roadmap for learning tableau and if you follow all those steps you will become a master in tableau to make awesome projects and for me to complete this course, I would really appreciate it if you support my channel by subscribing, liking, and commenting. And I hope you will enjoy the journey of learning Tableau. So let's jump in and get started. 